Now we're in James chapter 4, reading from John Gill's exposition of the entire Bible, written in the 1700s. The introduction to James 4. In this chapter, the apostle gives the true cause of contentions and strife, and cautions against intemperancy, covetousness, pride, distraction, and vain confidence. Having in the inner part of the preceding chapter invade against strife and contention. He here shows from whence they spring, from a covetous desire of riches and honor, and which yet are not obtained, because they did not ask these things from God with submission to his will, or they asked with a wrong view, namely, to gratify their lust. See James chapter 4 verse 1. Quote, King James Bible, quote, From whence comes wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence even of your lust that war in your members? Unquote. Continuing, And he dissuades from such unlawful desires, partly because they were no other than adultery, and partly because indulging them was declaring themselves enemies of God. See James chapter 4 verse 4, Quote, ye idolaters and idolatresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Unquote. Continuing, and he detours from pride under the name of envy, proud men being generally envious from the sense of the scripture, which says, not in vain, that the spirit lusts unto it and from the consequence of it, such as are proud being resisted by the Lord, when he gives more grace to humble ones. See James chapter 4 verse 5, King James Bible, quote, Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? Unquote. Continuing, hence follow several exhortations and various duties relating to humility, as to submit to God, and resist the devil, encouraged thereunto by this motive, he will flee. See James chapter 4, verse 7. Quote, Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Unquote. To draw nigh to God in a way of religious worship, who will draw nigh in a way of grace to his people, to purity of action, and of heart, or to that which is outward and inward. James 4, 8. Quote, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Unquote. Continuing. To be humble, mourn, and weep, instead of joy and laughter. James chapter 4, verse 9. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness." Unquote. Continuing, to lie low before the Lord who will raise you up. James chapter 4 verse 10. Quote, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Unquote. Continuing, and, and not to speak evil of anyone, since this is judging a brother, nay, a speaking evil of the law and a judging of that which is to invade the prerogative of God, the lawgiver, who was able to save and to destroy, and therefore one man should not take upon him to judge another. See James chapter 4 verse 11. Quote, Speak not evil one of another brother. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judges his brother, speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law but a judge, unquote. Continuing, and as another instance of great neglect of God and his providence and disrespect unto it, the apostle takes notice of a common practice among men and even professors of religion who resolve to go to such a place and continue so long and there make merchandise and promise themselves success, not considering what frail, short-lived creatures they are and how much all depends upon the will of God and which they should consider, submit to, and be determined by. James chapter 4, verse 13. Quote, Go to now, ye that say, 
Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Unquote. Continuing. And he reproves them for their boasting and joy in them as evil. James chapter 4 verse 16. Quote, but now ye rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Unquote. Continuing. And he reproves them for their boasting and joy in them as evil. James 4.16 continuing, and observes that it is not enough to know what is right and good, unless it is done, and that such knowledge is that but an aggregation of the evil of sin committed. James 4, verse 17, quote, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doth it not, to him it is sin, unquote. End of John Gill's commentary of the introduction to James chapter 4. Thank you for listening to Discovering the Scriptures. May God richly bless you as you go about your way. And to remember, you're now into James chapter 4. It would be wise if you would read the entire chapter a couple of times before you go into the first verse as we go ahead and do this now verse by verse.